And away we go. <laughs> A few years ago, my traveling companion, Bobby, and I traveled to Amman, Jordan to watch the Roman games in a 6,000-year-old seat theater built by the ancient Romans in the second century AD. In Roman times, every attendee had to have a ticket for the particular seat they were going to occupy. The lower tier was, well, let me skip that. There will be three performances. The first will be the Roman soldiers displaying their fighting techniques. The second will be the gladiators fighting to the death. And the third will be three horse-drawn chariots racing around the track. Notice that the 24 soldiers have paired up and you will see 12 pair of soldiers with one standing with his shield over his partner who is kneeling in front of him and the weapon they are using is a spear. And now we're going to see the troopers are on the move. Notice that one soldier holds his shield in front of himself and the soldier immediately behind him holds his shield directly over their head protecting them from enemy arrows. The soldiers now divide into two groups and are prepared to fight each other. This entire presentation of the soldiers in battle sends a strong message to the audience that they better be good citizens or the military will do away with them. <laughs> As you can see, the fighting is still raging and several bodies are on the ground. The emperors and some noblemen sponsored the games to provide entertainment to the masses to keep them happy. It was ancient Rome's TV and very popular. The gladiators now are being brought in to fight to the death. Gladiators were most often slaves and men who had been condemned to death by the courts. However, some were free men, even emperors, who fought for fame and glory. The action was so fast and furious that I could not keep up with my photo taking, so you will see different gladiators fighting as we go along. In ancient Rome, some gladiators used nets and tridents instead of swords, spears, and knives. Now, the second man from the left is holding a trident. It looks like a pitchfork to me. And here is a gladiator who surrendered to his opponent, and the soldier in charge of the games is asking the audience to decide his fate. Will it be thumbs up or thumbs down? <laughs> the thumbs down won, and the fate of the gladiator is sealed. Unfortunately, I did not get a picture of his fate. But coming up is another fighter who came to an untimely end. And here he is. And uh, <laughs> apparently it seems that outcomes like this were one of the reasons that the masses liked coming to the games. And in this match, as a modern audience gave a thumbs down it seems that human nature has not changed much. The disposal of the bodies of the dead gladiators depended on his status. Bodies of condemned criminals were thrown into the river, a common burial practice in ancient Rome. Gladiators who were well thought of were buried with honors. Now in ancient Rome, it was mandated that the chariots use four horses once Emperor Nero arrived with a 10-horse chariot and was allowed to race. He never finished and the race because he was badly hurt in the collision. He was declared the winner of the race. <laughs> in accordance, in ancient Rome, there were four 
teams of drivers that competed against each other. Their colors were red, green, white, and blue. Here you see drivers wearing red, green, and white. And notice the horses, one white and two black. The drivers really pushed the horses, so much so that I wonder if the winning chariot driver received extra money if he won. I will never know the answer to my wonderings. The green driver is in the lead, and the audience is watching, and the white horses are still in the race. However, in a few minutes, the white horses will be in an accident which damages the chariot and knocks them out of the race. And now the games are over, and the soldiers, gladiators, and chariot drivers stand in review for the audience. You will notice the white horses are missing, and then, the audience was invited to come into the field and mingle with the actors. My traveling companion, Bobby, jumped at the chance to mingle, ran out into the field and jumped into the winning chariot. Where will she mingle next? Will it be with the gladiators or the soldiers? We'll have to wait and see. And what's it going to be? And there she is mingling with the Roman soldiers, thus concluding a wonderful afternoon watching a spectacular reenactment of the ancient Roman games. Thank you.